Welcome once again to another episode of This Day in History. Our focus for today is 29th January, way back in history. So first of all, we're going to talk about the very first ice cream machine. I read, in 1924, the first machine for rolling ice cream, come ice cream cones, was patented by Carl Ruth for Taylor of Cleveland. Moving on, the great soul assassinated Indian leader Mahatma Gandhi, considered the father of his country and internationally esteemed for his doctrine of non-violent protests to achieve political and social progress, was assassinated on this day. This one shocked me. I mean, someone who wants a peaceful governance, Want everyone, every everything to move on smoothly, no violence. And then it was assassinated. Ah, oh, this life, eh, is upside down. Mm? This life is upside, is upside down. It's really sad, honestly. Now moving on. This day in history, January twenty nine, the U.S. Baseball Hall of Fame elect first member. They elected their first set of um members now the hall of fame actually had its beginning in 1934 when a plan were made to build a museum devoted to baseball and its 100 year history now a private organization based in cooper town called the clark foundation thought that establishing the baseball hall of fame in their city would help to re revigorate the area's depression so even an area can be depressed. <laughs> coinage, English coinage, an area like a street. I cannot say, oh, today I'm not going out. The street looks depressed. Does that even add up? Okay, let's go on. So they thought um, bringing in baseball all of fame into the city would reinvigorate the area's depression, ravage with economy by attracting tourists. So to help sell the idea, the foundation advanced the idea that U.S. civil war hero abner doubleday invented baseball in cooper's town this day in history in 1975 general yakubu gowan was overthrown in the bloodless coup the general moritala muhammad became head of state of nigeria born on this day are black bones who is popularly known for his distinct rap style as well as his creative ingenuity in 2019 he profiled he was profiled by the new york times as one of the new guard of nigerian music he is widely known for his controversial self-proclaimed status as the best rapper in africa Another queen born on this day, yes, who run the world, girls, is Oprah Winfrey. Born in 1954 in Mississippi, she is an American television personality. She is an actress and an entrepreneur whose um, syndicated daily um, talk show was among the most popular of the journey. She became one of the richest and the most influential women in the United States. I said it, who run the world, girls. Okay, we move on. So right now, let's talk about the National Day. You know, the program we, it will, will be incomplete without talking about National Day and fun facts. So the first one we have here is the National Corn Chip Day. The National Corn Chip Day. On January 29th, grab the queso or salsa and celebrate the National Corn Chip Day. Recognized each year across the country, the day encourages corn chip lovers to wipe up their favorite dip and topping. <laughs> but wait, to corn chip, it's about cocoreb banja cocoreb by when you corn chip, corn chip. Anyways, packaging lo laye, you know. You need to see. There was a day I went to the mall and I was just buying this and that, and lo and behold. The almighty Coco Regba was sitting pretty on the shelf. And I was like, wow, woo, packaging. So please, if they are celebrating Corn Chip Day, let us celebrate our Kokoro here in Nigeria. Okay. The last but not the least is the Bubble Wrap Day. This one, you both people, they can celebrate anything and everything. Do you remember those days when um, daddy unpacks maybe a new gadget? The bubble, the life that comes with bubble. You know how we enjoy busting it? Uh -huh. So the Onyibo people have created a day to do what? To celebrate it. I read on. 
If bubble wrap makes you think about the exquisite joy of popping noises or perhaps just moving to a new apartment, you're already a fan. Show your bubble love on Bubble Wrap Appreciation Day, which America proudly celebrates on January 29th. How did this bubblicious holiday begin? It was in a radio station once um, yeah, where they unwrapped microphone on the on hair. And listeners loved how the, the, the nylon popped. And so they decided to give it a day to celebrate the National Bubble Lylon or whatever day. So that is that about that. Now, the last one is the National Bible Day in Philippines. It's one um, is celebrated on this day in January. And we're happy to mark this day by meditating and having a deep spiritual connection connection so this year it is celebrated it is a day dedicated to studying the bible we share amazing facts about national bible day in philippines it's just all about studying the bible and meditating you know when last have you even read your bible you yes you you that you're watching me well last including me when last have we studied our bible okay so national bible day is meant for you to what study your bible and um, meditate and everybody raise your bible i know some of us like this our bible have bent some of the pages have removed so change national bible day go and go and buy a new bible if your pages are still complete and intact give it give the back cover a new look you know because why it's the national bible bible day so that is that about that for today i hope we enjoyed every bit of it join me tomorrow for another episode on this day in history and i remain l to the a to the r to the a lara